Welcome to this video lecture on the subject transmission lines and antennas. So in this lecture we are going to discuss about slot antennas. So first of all slot antenna is a kind of aperture antenna where it radiates through the aperture. So how it is constructed means a rectangular slot is con uh, made on the conducting sheet. So these slot antennas can be formed by simply making a cut on the surface. So when the sheet is driven as an antenna by driving frequency, the slot radiates electromagnetic waves. It is similar to dipole antenna. So the frequency range used for the application of slot antenna is 300 MHz to 30 GHz. It is particularly used for uh, microwave applications. So it is UHF and SHF frequency ranges. So linear polarization is used for the slot antenna applications. So it is uh, uh, benefits of the slot antenna are it is simple to fabricate it is having low loss and high efficiency and slotted antenna arrays used with waveguides are popular antenna in navigation radar and other high frequency systems they are often used in aircraft applications and the uh, they are having a typically thin uh, and also 0.5 lambda or the center frequency of operation. So these are the benefits of slot antenna and construction details and based on the construction these are the types of slot antenna where we have slots in the waveguide as shown in this diagram. So slotted waveguide antenna and rotated slot antennas on the narrow ear wall. So these are the construction wise uh, types of slot antennas. So when an infinite conducting sheet is made a rectangular cut and the fields are excited in the aperture. So which is called as the slot and it is termed as the slot antenna. And bobbinet's principle is used for the working of uh, slot antennas. So it is uh, uh, it states that when the field behind a screen with an opening is added to the field of a complementary structure the sum is equal to the field when there is no screen. So this principle is applied for the slot antenna structure. The principle of optics is applied to electromagnetic waves for the wave to get radiated. It is true that when a high frequency field exists across a narrow slot in a conducting plane, the energy is radiated. So voltage source is applied across the short end of the slot antenna. So this induces an electric field distribution within the slot and the currents that travel around the slot perimeter both contributed to radiation. So the dual antenna is similar to dipole antenna. So the voltage source is applied to the center of the dipole so that the voltage source is rotated. The first uh, result states that the impedance of slot antenna is it is, is related to the impedance of the dual antenna. So the intrinsic impedance of free space is used as the uh, relation for slot antenna impedance and uh, impedance of its real antenna is given by this equation is it t is it c is it as equal to eta squared by 4 and in this picture we can see the radiation pattern of a slot antenna which is omnidirectional so it is like a half a dipole antenna so it shows the radiation pattern in horizontal and vertical planes respectively and we can see the advantages, disadvantages and applications of slot antenna. So first one advantages, it can be fabricated and concealed within metallic objects. So it can provide covert communication with a small uh, transmitter and disadvantages are higher cross polarization levels and lower radiation efficiency. And applications of slot antenna are usefully for radar navigational purposes used as an array fed by a waveguide. And let's take an assessment. So which of the following type does the slot antenna belongs? Uh, first option is aperture type, wire type, lens type and reflector type. So we have seen that slot antenna is a kind of aperture antenna where the rectangular slot is made on the surface. So the answer for this first question is aperture type which is option A. 
and second question is in which of the following band the slot antenna operates so the options are uhf and shf shf and vlf and vlf and mf uhf and ehf so the answer is uh, uhf and shf is answer a so thank you for listening this lecture